In this video, we are going to cover how to take a page that you create and add it to a menu to go up on your menu bar for your website. So let's go ahead and get started with this. And just so you know, if you are unaware, this is a WordPress website and you can find it on a WordPress platform and you can actually download and install it onto your site if this isn't the kind of platform that you're using. So let's moving on with that. What you're going to do is you're going to head over to your website and the way you can do that is click on your domain name forward slash WP dash admin. So that's what I've done. I've got ahead and logged in already so just to sake of creating this video in a very short manner. Next, what you're going to do is head over to pages. It's in this left hand sidebar. You'll find pages here and you click on add new. Once that has loaded, you'll see this beautiful little page builder right here and you'll click in the title right up front. For testing purposes, we'll just say tester page. Next, what you'll do is you'll create all the content for your page, add your images, all your media, anything that you want on that page, and then you'll click on publish. What it'll do is it'll automatically publish it um, so that it is public and so that it can be found publicly on your site. However, it can be found unless people know the exact URL or rather the permalink of that page. So in order to get them to be able to find it easily on your menu bar on your website, you're going to head over to appearance right here again on the left hand sidebar and then click on menus. Now for this purposes, I'm going to go ahead and create a new menu for you so that you can get a good idea of how to do this yourself. Right up here in the top, you can click on create a new menu. Once that has loaded, you can name your menu. Again, I'm going to name this tester, but for you, you can name it a uh, main menu, beta menu, whatever it is that you're trying to do. Just you, that's what you can name it for yourself. Now for this, I'm going to name it tester, create menu. Once you've clicked on create menu over here, you'll notice that there aren't any menu items. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to head over here and find the page that you want to have included in this menu item. Now you can have your home, your about page. I also have a contact page that I have included in my own menu on my site. Or if you find that these aren't on the pages, you can use all these other features as well to add to your menu, which includes posts, projects, custom links, and your categories. These are very helpful when you're trying to add items to your menu bar that aren't necessarily pages on your site. Now you'll notice if you recently created the page, it's right up here up top on the most recent tab. So I'm going to go ahead and click on tester page, add to menu. You can also click on other ones at the exact same time. Instead of clicking on tester menu, I could have clicked on all four of these top ones and then clicked add to menu and it'll add it all at the same time. But again, I'm only going to be using this one. Once this has been completed, it'll automatically set up the link for you. You can go ahead and name it something else. The navigation label is actually the title, the text that's going to show on the menu on the front end of your site. So for this instance, let's just say blank just to be able to show you the different title it'll have. So it'll take you to your tester page, but the blank text that I just typed in there is what's going to show on your site. Let's go ahead and click on save menu. Now to be able to show you how this displays on your site, I'm going to make this my primary menu just for a short while. And of course I'll have to switch it back very quickly after this video so that uh, my visitors to my site aren't confused as to what's going on with my menu. Let's go ahead and create this your primary menu bar. You can also use your secondary menu depending on the theme you're using. Not all themes have a secondary menu, mine does. And then also a footer menu. Next, we'll go ahead and click on save menu again. Now, if you head over to your site, my site is alanugadam.com. And you'll notice right up here at the top, there is your menu bar. If you click on that, then it'll take you to your page, which is actually a blank page. As you know, we didn't really create anything. And you'll notice again, here's your title, tester page. But the blank text is actually what I typed in for right here, the navigation label. So there you have it. That's how you create a menu, link up your pages, and really generally be able to help your visitors to your site be able to navigate your website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day and please feel free to comment below this YouTube video with any questions you might have about web design, the Divi theme, or really just being able to use WordPress in general. I hope that again, you have a great day. Keep killing it and I'll see ya.